In this video, I'm going to be examining the stationarity of a variable using the CIPS unit truth test. The CIPS unit truth test uh, is used to, uh, in the presence or when there is cross-sectional dependence in a model. And the command is the XCCIPS is XCCIPS. For this video, I'll be using the log of GDP as an example. Uh, so I'll be testing the stationarity of the log of GDP, LGDP. I'll cl click a comma and include the max the max lag and the bg lag so i'm including the max lag to be 2 and the bg lag to be also, to also be 2 the max lag specifies the maximum number of lags to be included in the model while the bg lag establishes the serial correlation order i click enter now we could see the coefficients of the CIPS uh, test, which is uh, in absolute value, it is 2.558 and is greater than um, all the conventional levels of statistical significance. So these mean that our variable is stationary in levels. We could also include a time trend in the model. So the results is still similar. We could see that the coefficient value of the CIPS test is greater than the coefficient value, the critical values are 10%, 5%, and 1%, indicating that our variable is stationary in, in levels. In case our variable is not stationary in levels, we could actually um, we estimate the log of GDP, the stationarity of log of, of GDP in first difference by including a D dot. As before, we can see that the coefficient of the CIPS test is greater than conventional levels of statistical significance, the critical values of the conventional levels of statistical significance. We could also include a time trend in the analysis in first difference. We could also see similar conclusions where the coefficient of the CIPS test is greater than the critical values at 10%. 5% and 1%. Uh, so this this um, this variable is stationary in levels and as well also stationary after first differencing. 